Um, June 23rd, 2011, approximately about um, 8, um, 7.30, 8 p.m., um, we gave Dream her medicine, and um, we sat the kids down for a bowl of cereal. They didn't want me to cook. It was too hot. Um, the police kicked in the door, told everybody to get on the ground. Um, they tore up everything. The house was just in pieces. My computer desk got messed up. Now the drawer is stuck to the point where I can't close it. So if my son crawls around, it you know he could hit his head on it. You know, so that is just it's just I don't know. Everything my food was thrown out out the freezer into the sink. Um, it sat in the sink for about maybe two hours. Um, my kids' beds were sliced open. They were looking for drugs. Um, the PlayStations that my kids have was damaged. Everything was just torn in pieces. Um, I had to get new IDs, new everything for my children. The, just the way everything went down, it was just really, it wasn't right. Um, they did cavity checks on all the guys that was here. They searched everybody in the yard. Um, they they saying that I had to give up the drugs. There was no drugs here. I was threatened by the police to give it up or they're gonna call CPS on me, they're gonna take me to jail. Um there was just it was just really torturing and I just feel like they did it the wrong way. They went the wrong way about it. They could have handled the situation a little better. They put a shotgun pump in my ten year old daughter's face. She had an asthma attack. Um, they told my baby at the time, he was nine months, that he was gonna, um, uh, told him to shut up and they were just yelling at him. Um, so it, it was just really, um, kind of brutal for my this baby. Cover, um, this cover, this cover, and they had on, um, these old faded t-shirts, um, looked like hunting, um, pants that they were wear, the ones like push-ups, and they had these army looking boots on. Um, tan little pants, the boots were black, the shirts were dark navy blue, the little skull thing looked dark navy blue, black, blackish maybe. No name tags. No identifying people. Nothing. Um, just the little shield on the shirt, the little police shield that they usually have on their um, badges. Did they have a number? No. Okay. Um, I went to City Hall and I put in my request for the claims. Um, August 17th, um, the letter was dated. Um, the letter got to me some odd days later and the first letter said, we have accepted and received your um, claim. Here's your ID number. Then I opened up the next envelope and the next envelope, the letter said, um, sorry to be, um, we're gonna respect, you know, respectfully deny your claim. Um, it sounded a little odd to me because they sent me a letter saying they accepted it and then when I got opened the other letter it just said I was denied so the I shocking kinda... part came when they denied me that 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 was a shock that that would just tore the hole like a huge hole in my heart because I'm sitting here like I struggled to get this I worked years and years to get this because there's things that I have now for my children that I couldn't have for myself growing up and then, and to see that damaged, hurt, or destroyed was the worstest thing I could ever imagine. My kids been having nightmares, um, days in, days out. Um, sometimes I get up two or three o'clock in the morning and I hear one of them crying. I go back there and I lay with them. Um, my kids don't go outside um, because even when that, when the police came and did that, before the police came and did a raid, um, I would limit my kids to being outside because this is Flint Street, so it, it's not like, you know, you know, because a lot of things happen out here, and I don't want my kids to see that. I don't think they should. It's not good for, it wouldn't be good for them because if my kids get older, they're like, oh, this is okay to do, you know, and I don't feel like that would be cool. So after that, after the raid happened, my kids, are like pretty much petrified of going outside. What I like to see, the police that did this, I would like them to come talk to my kids and explain to them 
how they do their raids and um, what what they need to do to make it better because when they do majority of raids and drug searches there are kids that are in people homes they don't take the time to figure that out they just come rushing boom everybody gets on the ground um, I just feel like the police need to do their job a little bit better um, they need to observe a little bit more and they need to do a lot more researching and things like that And we were sitting down trying to eat our bowl of cereal and we were watching TV. And the cops came in and then just kicked the door open and they told everybody to get on the ground. But me and me and my two brothers and my sister and me didn't get on the ground. We jumped, actually jumped on the couch. And then I went to grab to the door to take it in the to take it in the room and shut the door because they thought the dog was gonna bite them. And then the guy, he came up to me and put the shotgun in my face and I backed up in my mom room and I was shaking my head saying, no, I don't wanna come out my mom room because I didn't wanna see nobody. And then my, and my mom was lying on the ground. I had got up to look and then my dad was laying in front of her. And then and she, I went to my room because my godma told me not to go there, but I went there anyway. And then when I saw my room, I got really upset and I didn't want to go back in there again. And we had nightmares. He had a nightmare that a cop was chasing him, trying to take him and stuff like that. And she been scared to sleep by herself and stuff like that. So that night when the police came here and raided, me and Juju and Dream fell asleep on the couch. And we didn't, like, we didn't wake up because I was scared that they were gonna do it again. And I had uh, just a bad dream about that. And, and I, what do you, what's your feelings about the police right now? Well, I'm scared, I'm terrified, like, I'm thinking they're gonna take somebody to jail, do something harmful to the people that don't, that's innocent and they don't have anything to do with anything. The reason why they probably came here is because the guys, they come in front of our yard and they stand there. But when the cops ride up and down the street, they don't pay no attention to them. They just pay attention to us to see what we doing, but we don't do nothing harmful. Well, I'm doing good. I don't usually go outside much yes, since yesterday or any days past these days. We never go outside. We just stay in the house, play with the Legos. Um, play video games, watch my dad play video games, and sit down and play with my little brother or something like that. So I sat on the couch and Nora started screaming his mom's out. Keep screaming because he want his mom because he didn't want he didn't want the police coming in here because they tear the whole house up and cut the beds open. Yeah, and and how how did that make you feel? It feel me scared because I think they're going to come back again.